Hello everybody, I hope you're all doing very well and welcome back to another cryptocurrency technical analysis where in today's video I'm going to be going over Bitcoin's drop and rise all in the same day and I'll also be going over some of the the altcoins that I've been flipping today and I uh, hope that you really really enjoyed this video, I think it's going to be great and uh, yeah, let's begin, let's go straight into this. So obviously on yesterday's stream, last night's stream, we was going over the Fibonacci channel to be trading from. And obviously last night, um, we broke down from that Fibonacci channel, went through daily support. And where did we bottom out? Monthly support. Okay. So obviously well, there were red signs coming up there. Obviously he started to bearishly engulf on the one hour chart that was on the chart and then you broke through all seven five and one fib channel support and that was like a red flag obviously you come down went through daily back tested down to monthly support i'm just going to really quickly cover this um because i'm <laughs> want to get back to trading this but yeah here, here we are at the end of the day back on monthly support with the bounce okay monthly support with the bounce and this is now my little uh clout session <laughs> where um there's like a community of other top traders that do a um like their opinions on what's happening on the market of their month to come. Uh, so click, check out CryptoCock for that. It's very, very interesting, basically. And um, this was my prediction that I submitted. And this was before the drop, before the drop. And I absolutely nailed it. So this was written when Bitcoin was at 8,500. Okay, so Bitcoin was at 8,500. My prediction was that I do believe the overall bottom in is in for Bitcoin. I'll read it out. I do believe that the overall bottom is in for Bitcoin. We, because we saw that impulsive wave three, okay? You see the impulsive wave three. I mean, that is not a corrective pattern, okay? That's an impulsive wave right there on wave three. Okay, so uh, with that in mind, uh, then we're obviously forming the macro higher highs and higher lows. That is still in. And, um, you know, this gives me uh, the probabilities in my favor of how I'm trading. Okay, and then I'm saying the short term, okay, SD short term, I am looking for a pullback to monthly support at 7,727. Okay, before we then bounce off of this level, form a high and then get our larger correction. Okay, to follow. So, this was done at 8,500. The next, you know, then we're waking up this morning at 7,727. Nailed the bottom, okay? This was being called while price was up here. I got the exact, 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 exact bottom. And that is something to be proud of as a trader. That is like a really, really amazing call. Um, yeah, so basically that's my little, uh, that's my little clout. And I'm sorry for boasting. But as I, as I wrote right here, like I do not want, to come across as like bragging but that is like some major like really amazing achievement to like exactly nail the bottom when it's eight hundred dollars off and get it to the exact dollar that is uh impressive <laughs> uh, so yeah i'm just proud uh yeah and then obviously we we formed that bottom i went hardcore on alts oh yeah and this was uh from that stream yesterday but -da -da there we are topping down you know we're looking up for higher targets but obviously i will say straight away this is the uh, this sideways channel that we've ended up forming, obviously bouncing off of the low, coming up for a high, higher low. Then we are just forming lower highs at this point. So you do want to keep an eye on obviously 8,000 psychological. This is the, the potential of the bear flag, yeah? So you do have the, the potential of moving down for another leg. You want to get over and close above 8,000. Otherwise, you are just... Um, going to see another leg down so that's an important level to keep an eye on obviously now 8025 7727 really really key levels okay but the star of the show today was not so much bitcoin although yes it was a a um, you know big move down and you can just see the back testing of all the levels okay um you can see that and uh you know you do, do need to get over this level before you know if we're going to get, get another leg up so that's really really in key support and resistances to be looking at on the short term but yeah obviously the altcoins the altcoins the altcoins oh my god so um yeah i was very very transparent with you all today of, of the positions that i was taking obviously i was in and out of zeal one uh, enigma and these were the rest of the coins that i was in okay so i was very transparent okay and all of these coins okay this was six hours ago all of these coins are now at least five percent up okay apart from walton chain which is just hanging around at support at the moment but you know uh all of these are at least you know here we are on vet or entry and that's eight percent up at the moment like yeah just what a day of trading the ults and um yeah let me go through some educational thing let's go through I will cover Matic because this is like a really, really nice coin at the moment. Okay. And this is one that I called in the group of mine. So uh, called this. We all got in on that. And um, yeah, I'm not sure how well you can read this, but people were very, very happy with this call. Well, this is the group. Yeah. Like literally everybody getting getting in on that. Good call. Thanks, Daniel. Very happy. Um, yeah. I, I love helping people out. And it obviously, yeah, it's a great feeling. Um, 
So let me cover Matic and show you like exactly where I got in on this, what my thought process was. Okay, so let's go to Matic, 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 Matic. Uh, I've been like so hardcore trading today, like unreal. Yeah, I've been up for maybe uh, 36 hours at this point <laughs> because as I went to try and sleep yesterday, obviously Bitcoin had its break from support and then I started sculpting that. Crazy, I'm trying to find Matic. Here we go, Matic. So yeah, this was like num <laughs> number one entry. So uh, what I was doing, okay, we were forming a base of support. Okay, so we're going to need to zoom down. Okay, so we need to form the base of support. Okay, obviously price moved up in the day, come down and you can see this real clear support line, really, really, really clear support line that you have formed right there. Okay, so you form a base of support. And because I want to place a big order, I cannot just place big orders uh, at support because it's it's relatively hard to you know fill a whole position okay because the movements are really small it's like one sat down one sat down so it's difficult to fill like larger position sizes not impossible but more difficult when you're trying to get in on a decent level okay so i placed my bid at the 0 0.5 fib and this is my order being filled right here and just to like prove it you can see uh 236 literally my buy order and uh, 236 was the 0 0.5 fib. That was my order for filling up this move for that very, very, very big move to the upside. Okay. And that is, you have to think, this is one hour, one hour for a 10% gain. That is unreal. And that is the sort of scenario that I'm looking for. And like the tip that I will give you all is like, as I wrote here, you can hardly read it. But instead of just moving from coin to coin to coin to coin and just searching for the coins that are already pumped. OK, you see Matic up 10 percent. There will be people that are FOMOing into Matic thinking I need to get in on it. I need to get in like it's up 10 percent. Whereas this is the thing. I enter a coin, I flip it for 10% and then where the average trader is looking to buy, this is where I'm selling. So you just have to be like really um, aware that when you see a pumped coin, that is when the smart money was accumulating and now they're distributing. Okay, so obviously then there's, you have to wait. This is why you wait for the pullbacks, because if you're buying things that are like 10, 15 percent up, um, people are going to be taking profits and that's why you get your pullbacks. So just be like really careful. And that's just a general tip that I will give you all. Um, and as I, re I wrote here, just just moving around profits from other alts into new ones. This is the key. The trade, you know, trade the percentage gain to targets. Then instead of holding the profits forever and just, you know, potentially watching them go back to zero, you know, take the profits, move it into the next setup, rinse and repeat. And that's literally what I done. Yeah, today was absolutely crazy. Um, but yeah, that was Matic right there. Just got into Raven. Um, obviously, Zill. Oh, my God. Like Zill. Obviously, now it's pulling back, <laughs> which is funny because I'm not going to mention names, but this was obviously tweeted out by quite a big account right at the top around here. And uh, yeah, it started to give back the move now. But yeah, this was a really nice setup of of, um, of Zill, where actually last night, so this was my entry last night, okay? So you obviously broke this key, for me was a key support, 260. You broke key support, you back tested, okay? And uh, I actually had my orders just set overnight. But in the end, you fully did back test the old resistance. So that was like a real nice entry. Um, and then obviously you continue on and then you can just see your impulsive wave structure that you're forming here on, on Zill. So that's like really, really nice. And this is like the thing, I'm just going to end with a general tip before I get back to trading this because I'm so keen on just trading this hardcore. Um, <laughs> that look for your setups do not follow the crowd do not follow the crowd that is going to be the worst thing that you can do um you know you all know that i would i was inherently bullish okay even though we got the pullback i was inherently bullish looking too long that monthly support i got my entry on monthly support and somebody also flipped today i've gone for 10 15 20 percent like you have to think if bitcoin pulls back 10 percent but you're flipping alts for 20 percent then you're making money on the day, okay? And it all depends on how much of a percentage you're using of your stack, of course. Um, but, you know, you keep flipping these and you, and you make back the gains. So, um, you know, you just have to think, what do you value more at the moment? USD, BTC, um, you know, personally, although... I do I enjoy trading BTC pairs. Like my focus is is USD because this is my main source of income. Yeah, so um, I focus on USD, and that's why I was like hardcore getting back every single penny and more. So yeah, absolutely love that. Have I missed anything here? Oh yeah, so this was another one like Fet. That was just like taking off Fet, uh, and that was obviously one of my one of my holdings this morning before that took off again. Uh, but yeah, that is everything that I think I wanted to cover. Oh yeah, this was another, <laughs> just to like hype myself up, ENG, this was a call that I posted yesterday. Uh, obviously, there we are, one day later, hitting hitting, hitting targets, coming, you know, getting that retrace. And this is like just the main thing that you just really need to acknowledge is just be careful of the moves when you're getting into them and 
on the flip side, on the flip side, know where your key supports are and know where to place stop losses, okay? Because obviously when we come back to yesterday, you know, you come back to yesterday, you're inside of a fib channel. You know, if you break down from these key fibs, then you need to be aware that you're losing support, okay? Especially when you're like bearishly engulfing, that's, you know, a real big like red flag sort of sign. Um, so yeah, overall, it's just like being aware of the setups, being aware that you, you cannot just enter trades with no take profits or no, no stop losses. It's like a real key fundamental of trading. Um, and uh, yeah, just be aware of what can be happening. Just like be aware, have a bullish and a bearish scenario. Just, you know, that that's the main thing of trading. If you're very consistent with that, then you are going to do well. And um, yeah, overall, very, very, very pleased, not going to lie. And uh, yeah, that I will just end you know, really highlighting these are our key resistance and key support to be looking at, okay? Uh, obviously, it's not the last resistance if we do manage to move up, but uh, that is for the short term until I give you another video, and maybe tomorrow again, okay? Maybe tomorrow. Um, then those are the key support and resistances to look at, and yeah, I have been really, really aggressively trading alts, but you do want to have a little bit of care, okay? Um, just because, like, I've, I've been doing this eight years. I'm very, very experienced. And uh, this was another one I mentioned yesterday, EOS. Like, the USD pair was awful. But BTC pair came right down to bottom of a parallel channel and got a strong bounce. But, um, yeah, that's just one of many. One of many, one of many. And, um, yeah, I just want to end with that. Hope that you've enjoyed today's video. Apologies that it has been rather quick. But I hope that you all appreciate... Um, I'm in a lot of positions. So, uh, yeah, and just hyped about that call right there. Literally $800 away, nailing the exact bottom. That is, I mean, very, very proud. And uh, what can you get if you cannot be proud? So, um, yeah, thanks, everybody. Um, I will catch you all in the next video. Please, if you've enjoyed, give me a like or always 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 i'm up for constructive criticism if there's something that you would like to see let me know uh, i know many people want like live scoping but this is going to be for my uh my group more more so so um that's just something that is a thing that i know that people would like to see as well so um you know if you do have any other constructive criticism just let me know and um yeah absolutely enjoying everything at the moment so yeah it's just going really well and i hope that you are all very well too so thank you honestly so much for the support and I will catch you in the next video, everybody. Cheers. Good night. <laughs>